Hey everybody, I am leaving this message for everybody because I feel like I have a lot of explaining to do before I start going on about um, my potential business ideas or education that I'm pursuing right now. Um, I left a lot of shit in Florida. Um, you know, I went through a divorce that completely left me in survival mode, like a fish out of water, um, and left a lot of shame back there, left a lot of, you know, survival mode um, moves that I made that were not okay, and I ended up just having to go. So I crossed the country, um, I spent, you know, a few years just going to a few different states, and I landed in New York, so here I am. And I still very much um, do kids yoga. I still very much want to do that. But I am also going through a lot of healing, um, a lot of self-forgiveness. So I am connecting with my source and, and making this time for me to heal before I can go out and do the things that I plan on doing. Um, right now I am in Reiki course, so I am at Reiki level number two, and I will be a master at some point, Reiki level, um, master. And I am involved in RYT training online, so yoga teacher training. I will also be doing cognitive behavior therapy, and I'm working with my tarot cards. So all of that put together, I feel like I have a strong base to begin an online community or at least start something like that um, where I can help heal others like I've been healing myself. We can help heal each other. That's what we are here for. We are connected in that way to do that for one another. And, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to how it's going to work. I don't know just yet, but I have a big vision and, and I hope that you guys follow along with me and heal with me. Um, I really would like to devote a lot of my practices with yoga um, and Reiki healing on substance abuse. Um, I have had substance abuse issues for my whole life. Um, you know, a big reason for my divorce in Florida was because I got clean and I really felt more enlightened than I ever had in years. And I was realizing that I don't want to feel that way anymore. The reason why I, I'm, I'm taking complete accountability for what I've done. I wasn't able to handle how I felt. I wasn't able to handle feeling suppressed, feeling unworthy, feeling like I wasn't good enough, feeling like I was always second thought. Um, I didn't know how to deal with that. So I turned to something that I always knew made me feel better. And, you know, I finally broke that cycle, felt more enlightened than ever, realized I didn't want to feel the way that I was feeling that forced me to feel like I needed something else. And so I was out and, you know, in Florida, I did a bunch of shit that I'm not proud of. I whoever has been following me here has definitely seen it go down and you know I feel ashamed but that's all in my forgiveness of myself and all in that healing work that I've been doing so much of you know I feel shame that in Florida I was really trying to teach that but not practicing it you know I was going online talking about chakras and talking about you know forgiveness and kid yoga and what um, namaste means and you know in turn inward I'm not working on it on my own so it really it really caused me to do what I'm doing now which is dive into that spirituality and that healing and hoping that I can get something going as an entrepreneur and a business and and find other people who want to connect you know through the chakras you know through the energetic field throughout our bodies and you know but also on all these other aspects, substance abuse, domestic, addictions, attachments. I want to do it all. I want to learn it all and be able to help anybody who vibes with me, anybody who connects. 
So that is my plan. And I really thank you again for, for still being around in my life um, to even be watching this video. So I thank you so much. We will talk soon. I, I look forward to it. Namaste.